Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel, I'm Michelle, and today is Pilates Burn. We have two blocks, eight moves, 40 seconds of effort with a 15 second transition, and this is two rounds. We're gonna be working those arms, the legs, the core. Pilates is a very core focused workout, so that will be our focus. We're gonna be adding light weights, you can be three to five, and ankle weights, which is optional. Ours are weighing in at two to three pounds. We're gonna finish this workout with a Pilates burn. That's gonna help you get into that fat burning zone. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. If you're looking for more content or you wanna help me create this content, make sure you click that join button below. This warm up is on the floor. So you're gonna lie down on your back, look at the ceiling, have your legs up in tabletop so the knees are bent. The head can be down if you feel tension in your neck, but if you want, the head can be lifted. This does help to strengthen this area, which we all need to make sure is nice and strong. You can either keep the legs here or extend them out. Head and shoulders are lifted. We're pumping the arms for five on the inhale, and on the exhale, we pump for five. I have my heels together, my toes turned out. We call that Pilates stance, and I'm zipping up my thighs. Eye gaze is on the thighs, pulling up and into the waist. You can always drop the head at any time if you feel tension in your neck. Right knee in, give it a little hug, and switch left knee. Hand to the outside of the foot for that single leg stretch. And again, we're just warming it up. So if you need to, drop your head, and the leg can go higher. Go down, bridge, hips lift up, articulate the spine, and then release the spine. So tuck the tailbone, lift, and then release from the top to the bottom of the spine. Single leg stretch, knees in, extend one leg, give it a little pull and switch. You can have the knees a little bent if you have really tight hamstrings. And we're reaching up as high as we can on the leg. Nose looks down. Flipping for push-up crouch, rock up, knees or toes, one push-up, crouch or down, or you can do child pose. So take your option. Knees down is a great way to just still warm up the body. Sit back in child pose, take a breather, step your right foot forward into lunge, and then reach that back arm up, and then step it back, switch legs. Turn front, wide straddle. And then step it in, roll yourself up, and we're ready to go into block one.
We have eight moves. We're gonna do 40 seconds of effort with a 15 second transition, and then we're gonna repeat them. So this is focusing a little bit more on that upper body. You're gonna use your light weights. I'm using five pound weights. Come to the back of your mat. We're gonna do that round down walk out with three push-ups. Keep the length. Chin to chest, round down. Walk the hands out. Knees or toes, three push-ups. Walk back, draw the abs in, soften the knees, roll up. One dumbbell, come to the front of your mat. We're lunging back, and as we lunge back, we're gonna open up the arm to the knee that stays in front. So that, that's the weight, the hand weight. Lunge back, rotate, and switch. So where the knee is, that's where I'm gonna rotate over to. See if you can look back there. Take your eye gaze to where the weight's going. Two weights come into first position in the middle of your mat, heels and toes turned out. We do an upright row, step out to sumo, come in, back into that upright row. Upright row, heels lift, step out, zip up and rise up. And have a little spring and that push off. your back I want you to start with the weight down so your arms are bent your legs are straight we're gonna hold the arms there as we scissor the legs up and down for three then hold the legs as you extend the arms legs three two hold arms up arms down legs again three two hold extend up You can always do forearms. On the hand, I extend it a little bit out beyond my shoulder. Knees bent from that position. I rise up, rotate through, and then come back down. Press up, rotate, pause, a little bend. So I open up, thread it through. And if you're barefoot, I'm turning my feet into that first position. Heels in, toes turn out. So I'm in that Pilates stance right there. All right, swing it around. That is a great one. Whew. Again, I have the knees bent, heel in front. I'm ready to come up into that side plank. Then I thread through, rotating on the feet. 
and then release. Flip onto your back. Legs are in that Pilates stance. I lower them down, then open them out in opposite directions here, and then I zip them back in together. Down, out, in. Lower is going to be a little harder. that little turn up, heels and toes out. Now reverse this, go out, down, in, then up. Bicycle, knees come in, you're gonna lift the head and shoulders, hands behind the head, tuck your chin down, and we'll end up rotating to the front, pause, and then to the back. So let's not rush this, just take your time, stay lifted. So we never come down, we stay up and we're just rotating. Lower leg is gonna be harder. So get that length, so lengthen up. You can have heels and toes turned out when you do this too. Round and walk, three push-ups. Ready for that back lunge. One dumbbell. Remember, you're going to rotate to the knee. So the front leg is going to be the leg that stays. That's the hand that has the weight. Out in front. Step back open and switch.
your back, that hold at the bottom. So have the elbows bent, legs are up, back is pushing into the mat. You can have Pilates dance too. Scissor it. One, two, three, extend the arms. Side plank, ooh, on your hand. Remember, I'm gonna have that arm a little bit away. My knee's bent, I have front leg over the bottom leg. That way I can press all the way up. Side plank, spin through, and then release back down. So I gently touch the floor and then go back into the twist. I can. I'm just doing a little seat curve crunch. If you want to, you can squeeze your thighs together. I like to look out in front of my knees. legs. ankle weights. So at, during this break, put your ankle weights. Make sure you have a towel because we're going to be on one knee. Mm -hmm. 
Block two, we have eight moves. We're gonna use the front leg for the whole eight moves. So that's the working leg. Again, we're using ankle weights two to three pounds. So the back knee is on the ground. The leg is lifted, hands under shoulders. And it's a push up. Now, I have the hands inside the frame of the body to work the triceps. And then the core is turned on to extend that leg out and keep it lifted. You could even have a pause at the bottom and then push away. Come on your side, keeping that leg at the top. We have clam, feet in line with the hips, and we're just gonna lift and lower that top leg. And I'm going more for just a straight up lift versus that rotating back, so more just straight up lift. Push your shoulder away from your ear. If you need to, you can lie all the way down on your side. Pretzel pushback. We did pretzel last week, so this week we're gonna do a pushback. So I'm leaning towards that leg that's gonna work. I'm gonna lift up the heel a little bit higher than the knee and then push it back. And it's easy to kind of lean away, so if you really need to, you can, but I'd rather you try to lean up and towards the leg. And again, I'm having the knee down and the heel is trying to be up. All four, a little half rainbow. Extend the leg up, you can come to the forearm, reach the leg back, and then we're gonna tap it out in front in line with the hip and the toe can touch, and then back to the top. Swing, tap, up and pause. Down dog, that leg goes to single leg down dog and then knee to elbow. So you can come into down dog, extend that leg up to the sky. If you need to, you can drop to the knee, knee to elbow, single leg down dog. The 
core is really turned on here to help us flow through this movement. going to stay I have a towel here for my knee and then extending that front leg again if you want to be on one or two elbows we're going to do single leg circles not big in toward the body in and up and reach your leg long Reverse directions. Swing that leg to the bottom for adduction, staying on that same leg. You can have the foot in front or behind. I like it behind, or we're just gonna lift and lower the leg. Option, if you want to add some more upper body, you could come onto the hand and lift the hip from the floor. Again, ear away from the shoulder, so push your shoulder down. Embrace that core to lift the leg up. So all those eight moves, we're getting ready to do them on the other side. I'm gonna turn around. I'm getting ready for the other leg. Single leg push up. Front leg is gonna be lifted, hands under shoulders. Push and release. And the other option is if you want to lift your toes of the other leg, make a knee that's on the ground. But that might put a little bit too much pressure into your knee, so that's why I'm keeping my toes down. Side line clam. Whew. Knees in line with hips. Again, if you need to, you can come all the way down onto your arm. We're just lifting and lowering that leg. Hand placement, hey, it's up to you. Sometimes it's good to just kind of feel what's happening. Get that mind-body connection. And again, ear, right? Push the shoulder down. We don't want to train with our body in bad posture. Pretzel push back, so we come up, leg is right in that position, right? It's in line with the hip. I lift the heel up a little bit more. It is tough. We're pushing it back. And you can have that little back push. And remember, if you're doing this workout and the ankle weight is just too much and you're not getting a good range of motion, get rid of the ankle weights, get the range of motion, build up the strength, and then you can add them in. Mint. 
to all four for that half rainbow. You can put the towel underneath your back knee. Leg is up and extend it back. And then we're gonna tap it out to the side. Tap out, lift up. You want to drop the bottom elbow to the ground. Single leg down dog with that knee to elbow. So if you want to push into your down dog, have a little softness in your knees. All's good. Leg is up. Knee to elbow. Single dog. straight leg circle, staying with that knee on the ground, extend your leg nice and straight. Make sure your hips shine down, you're looking down and out in front of your mat. In and up. If you reach your toes, lengthen that leg, feel your quad turn on. Reverse. That leg comes under for abduction. Again, you have the option if you want to foot in front, Come onto your hand. Nice lift, release. Have a control bottom, right? So when you bring it down, smooth. Great job. All right, take a moment. I'm gonna give you the option to stay with ankle weights or take them off for our little burn. We've got five moves, 30 seconds of each move, and then we're gonna repeat that three times. Are you guys ready? You ready? Three rounds, 30 seconds of each movement.
crunch over and then kick some butt. To your left. shoulder tap or you can stay upright and do a jack tap. Squat knee, squat down, right knee, and then left. Lunge back, kick. Lunge back, step and switch. seconds. I'm stay, staying right here. I'm good to go. How about you? Remember, we're going to move to the right for that, for that lateral. Lunge back, kick, lunge tap in. Fifteen. 
15 seconds. One more round, you guys. How are you doing at home? All right, this is where it matters. I want you to just turn it up one more notch. We're gonna go this direction first. To your left. Squat knee, we'll start to the right. Lunge back kick, lunge tap and switch. Nice job, woohoo, all right, nice job you guys, you did amazing. How'd that feel? Did you enjoy those ankle weights with the cardio section? Woo, it did level it up, so maybe next time, if you didn't do it this time, hey, hit repeat and add those ankle weights. We're taking the ankle weights off for a stretch. All right, our ankle weights are off, we're gonna do figure four, so balance, taking that right leg, Bring it in front. If you need to, grab a chair, you can place your hands on there. Maybe flex your foot, roll your shoulders back. Just hold. goes down, step back, we're in pyramid. Turn the back foot out slightly, lift the chest up and over that leg. If you need two hands on the shin to give me length. Quad stretch, find some balance, grab your foot. You could even try the inside, which is a little bit more of a challenge. And then you get more shoulder. You could even push into the dancer. If you wanna drop even more, you can reach the arm to me, and the leg to the back, and fall with grace, right? Relax, straddle, stretch, open the legs up. And then if you want to grab the elbows and just sway your body side to side. 
All right, we're gonna roll it up, get ready for the other side. Here's that figure four, finding your balance, ground your feet. Again, if you need a chair. So I am barefoot. It is good to do barefoot training every now. Everybody's got different feet, but let me tell you what, take care of your feet, right? It's really important. Flex the foot, roll the shoulders back, sink. Pyramid, foot goes down, and then just start to gently come down. You can do hands on the shin, or if you, you can, you can go all the way to the ground. Lengthen out in front of your leg. Take yourself up and the sock is the knee into your quad stretch. Again, if you want to try a little something different, go inside the foot versus the outside. And we can push the leg right into the hand. You can start to tip. reach out in T. I'm going to reach this arm up and over. Now from that position, I'm going to roll all the way down. So sweep down, keep that arm out, and then open back up. Let's try the other side. So I go over, sweep down. One arm stays as the other opens. And let's go again. Reach, sweep. One more time. Step it in, roll the shoulders, plant the feet, and then last big inhale. Having the gratitude, that is our attitude here. Reach it up, reach it back, pull it into your heart. And one more deep breath here. Let it out. You did amazing. Oh my God, the sweat just really started coming down during the stretch. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Cheeky. Jen, thank you. Look who's here, Catherine's in the back. We got Diane and we've got you. Thank you guys. You guys are amazing. Look at what your body is doing for you. Keep up. I know this, this workout did kind of correlate with last week's uh, bar burn. So if you didn't get to do it, hey, check it out. It's right here up in the description box and down below. And we will see you back on that mat. Make sure if you enjoyed this, thumb it up, like it, comment, and share this with a friend. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And we'll see you back on this mat. Take care, guys.